Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm really excited today to be able to launch with you my brand new textures monoprint collection of stamps and dies. So I'm going to very quickly run you through what's in the new collection and then we're going to make a really pretty card with it as well. So this collection features around three different stamp sets and they are all independent, they work independently from each other um, but they also mix and match beautifully too. So we've got first of all the hexagons. Now these are based on monoprinting which is uh, simple stamping usually in one colour but I've taken it a step further and I've actually done layering stamps for you here. So for example if we look at this design and this design you'll see that they are a positive and negative of each other so you can stamp these in two different colours colours and layer them up. The same with the florals, the same with the butterflies and then you've got lots of additional extras with you've got a half tone ombre look, you've got stitched edges, you've also got just borders and solids so you can then be layering up and mixing and matching these and the beauty of is that they fit together, they tie all together uh, which is what I love about the entire monoprint collection. So a couple of cards as inspiration to show you how I've used them. So this one here I've not actually used the two tone, the layering effect here I've just gone in with white embossing and a beautiful ombre in the background this one I didn't actually use the hexagons um, kind of grid together in the same way I've just fussy cut them out uh, say fussy cut it's not fussy at all really easy shapes to cut out but layered them together with foam tape and this one I actually used them with the die so we've got a cover plate die that uh, matches up with each of the three shapes which I'll show you in just a moment but there I've just done an ombre background and stamped a darker blue, a mid blue and a light blue to kind of do that fading out which is just really really pretty. Then one more I've got here, this one it was uh, a card that I've created on the Craft Stash YouTube channel and this is showing the spotlight design but you can see even just in monotone the images are beautiful. Then we've got the diamond designs as well, same concept um, but you've just got the beautiful images, they layer up as well so you can layer those leaves, those botanicals inside each other. This is just those stamped once and then this is them layered up as you can see they fit beautifully and the colours just pop, they're absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the Moroccan designs as well, again same concept, I love this card, I love the colours, I love the shape, that Mor Moroccan tile shape I really love anyway and I've got a really bright one here too. So you can see that would actually work for Christmas ornaments so you could really use this collection for any time of year. Now I'd briefly talk about the cover plate, so we have got a die for each of the three shapes, the diamonds, the hexagons and the Moroccan shape uh, and it's a 5 by 7 die so you're going to be able to fit your stamps inside of that but also these will also work on their own really nicely so like this for example I haven't actually used the stamps I've just used that die and paper pieced elements back in after embossing them which will bring me to embossing in just a moment because we do have some sentiment dies here we've got the letters the alphabet uh, you've got beautiful flourishes on these but many of the flourishes you can snip away if you wanted a simpler design so it's kind of a really versatile alphabet set and as you can see they're a really good size alphabet as well you're looking at about an inch and a half tall roughly each letter so I've just put mine on magnet sheets in there. Then three more items for you, these are embossing folders. So these are not 3D embossing folders so you're not going to pay the price of a 3D embossing folder but you are going to get the effect. So we've got this fantastic waves or sort of, it's like fabric draped there, really really beautiful when it's embossed. I've just highlighted the um, the top there with some ink so really pretty. Then we've got the hexagons. Obviously this is going to work with your hexagons in the rest of the collection but you don't need to mix and match them because these will work as a background for a masculine card for example, a lovely geometric shape. That's how that looks so yeah really kind of 3D optical illusion like. This one looks fabulous once you emboss it Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. I've just again picked up the raised areas with some ink there on a brayer and it just looks absolutely brilliant. Brilliant, <laughs> I love that. Okay, so let's get on with creating a card. I'm going to use the diamonds for this card and we're going to start by um, ink blending a beautiful ombre background first of all. 
So for this collection I've found myself mostly working on 5x7 cards. This is mostly because the cover plate dies are 5x7 edge to edge so it just works really nicely on that size card but you can of course work with DL, um, A6, whatever, whatever size suits you because you can build these up as much or as little as you like. So for this colour I am going to go with a cracked pistachio with a bit of black soot at the bottom, going into wild honey and then crackling campfire at the top. Now because the black soot and the crackling campfire are kind of going to just be um, just shadows at the top and bottom, I'm going to focus on the cracked pistachio and the wild honey more than anything. So I'm going to build up this background first. And there's a beautiful blended background. Now for this what I'm going to do is spritz the entire background with a light mist of water. This is going to ever so slightly lighten and almost give that sort of bleached effect. I'm only going to do it with, uh, with the spray. I'm not going to flick big blobs anywhere. So I want it mostly to be a light mist. And I'm going to allow that to just soak in. Now you can see there's a few splats. That's absolutely fine. But what I want to do is re-stamp over this in the same colours again, but I want that stamped image to show up. Now this is a very subtle effect, it gives beautiful texture though. So I'm going to allow this to dry, I'm going to use my heat gun and just dry it off a little bit quicker though, and then I'm going to start stamping my design in the background. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to start with the cracked pistachio. So choosing the images that I'm going to use, I'm probably not going to use the solid ones, the background ones, I'm going to focus more on the ones that are like a positive image so they don't have the background with them just to keep things nice and light. Now I have no idea on how the spacing is going to work with these so I'm just going to start in the middle, work my way up and see how we get on. So I'm going to pick my first one up ink this up with cracked pistachio and the beauty of these inks, these are oxides, is that they are a pigment base and this means the pigment will sit on top of other pigment, other colours. So as I stamp this, it's very subtle but I've got the leaf in there and I can see that and as that dries I will see that even more. So I'm going to carry on uh, just layering these leaves up, so pick up from the next one. I'm also going to do this in cracked pistachio. So basically the bottom half is going to be cracked pistachio. Then I'm probably going to do a centre line here that's going to be a bit of a mix of cracked pistachio and the wild honey. And then the top's going to be all wild honey. And we'll see how this starts to progress. And like I say, it is a very subtle effect. Now I've filled the bottom half, I'm going to start working my way up the top. So just move my magnets out the way and here I'm going to be stamping the uh, wild honey only instead. So now I've got my background, I really love how the colours overlay when you use oxides. It kind of almost looks like... Um, a sort of batik effect. Um, I just think it's really fun and obviously it will change depending on the different types of colours you choose. So that's going to go onto my card base and I'm going to build up a nice bold sentiment to go on top. I'm going to use my letter dies and I'm simply going to use the word for you. So I'm going to be die cutting these from a nice bright white to really make them pop on the on the coloured background. So I'll die cut these and I'll also put them onto some adhesive foam too. So I've taken my uh, panel of uh, pattern paper now <laughs> to my sewing machine and I've added a stitched edge. This is actually a kind of t very pale teal colour stitch um, but I did it with uh, really high tension so it's kind of uh, gripped together quite closely around there and it just makes it more obvious. And then I've got my letters all cut out already. These are going to sit right in the middle. Now, usually I'd add like an ombre effect to the letters or I'd put some vellum behind, but I don't want to detract from that gorgeous background. So instead, I'm just going to put these directly on here. I'm going to place them in the middle. So the O's first, um, and then I'll do the two outer letters. It's nice and easy because this is 
a six letter or two three letter words really nice and easy to place these evenly I'm going to overlap the letters as well so they just overlap a little bit onto the O and to finish this card off I'm going to take the word wonderful here um, and this one is I'm just going to cut this out, out with a craft knife so I'm just going to adhere this about here I think that will work it's wonderful you for wonderful you um, I think it's still readable because they're nice bold letters there we go and then of course one more finishing touch I have some black gems here and I'm just going to scatter a couple of these around I'm not going to go for really large ones I'm going to stick with uh, quite small ones but the black's going to contrast nicely against the white and the bright colors so that is your sort of batik style stamping there really beautiful background with lots of texture really subtle as well um, and of course you can do this with any of the new monoprint stamps whether it's the moroccan style the diamonds or of course the hexagons you'll find everything in this link just here from the new textures collection i'd really love it if you could subscribe to my channel as well and i think you'll also quite like this video just here take care everybody. I'll see you again very soon.